In 2 Timothy chapter 4, Paul is not only nearing the end of his letter to Timothy, but also his personal race. He knows that he's about at that time where he will finally get to meet the face of the voice that he followed for a lifetime. He'll finally be able to meet Jesus. And so in the fourth chapter of 2 Timothy, it's almost like it has this very almost solemn and attentive atmosphere to the language that Paul uses. Let me read to you just starting in chapter 4 verse 1 what Paul writes. He says, I solemnly urge you in the presence of God and Christ Jesus, who will someday judge the living and the dead when he comes to set up the kingdom, preach the word of God. Be prepared, whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. And he shares why in verse 3. For the time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths, but you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. I think the words of Paul this morning are ever so clear and don't necessitate a lot of commentary from me. As we approach these last days and opinions abound and many people, you know, they just want to hear what they want to hear. Let's be those that preach the word. Let's be those that are full of grace. Let's be those that are looking up for Jesus to return. And let's be those that continue to preach the good news of Jesus, that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, and that if you, you would believe in him, you would not perish but have everlasting life.